welcome to Empower In. In this video, we're going to go over nursing exam or NCLEX style question related to the medication aldactone. This is the last question related to this topic. However, you can review more questions like this on my website by clicking right here. And also stay tuned because next week we're going to go over another disease process or medication. Question number four. A client has been prescribed aldactone for the management of hyperaldosteronism. Which of the following statements by the client indicates the need for further teaching? A. If I miss a dose, I can double the next dose to catch up on the missed one. B. I will store this medication at room temperature away from direct sunlight. C. I will try to avoid foods such as potatoes and tomatoes. Or D. I will avoid driving while on this medication. So let's go over these answer options one by one. Option B is a statement that proves your client understands the instructions that were given to him about how to store the medication. Option C indicates that your client is aware of the need to avoid certain foods because they are high in potassium. The statement in option D shows that your client was listening to your instructions about driving and understands that a possible side effect of the medication includes drowsiness, dizziness, and confusion. The the correct answer here is option A, because it proves the need for further teaching. It is very essential to take the medications as prescribed. In taking aldactone, once you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. But if it is near the time for the next dose, skip the missed dose and resume usual dosing schedules. Do not double the dose. I want to mention two more interesting notes about this question. First note, when taking the NCLEX, be sure to read the questions very carefully to be positive that you are answering the question that is being asked. In this question, if you would have chosen an answer in haste, you probably would have chosen B or C because they all seem to be correct comments about spironolactone. But that is not what is being asked here. And besides, take your time. Just about everyone has more time than they need to complete the NCLEX. There is something else that I wanted to point out as well. This client obviously recalled some of the education that was verbalized to him 
by his nurses or doctor. Never underestimate the importance of educating your client. Most clients are discharged with a bag full of papers representing discharge instructions. Research, however, has proven that most of these papers never leave the bag once the client gets home. So take every opportunity that you can to verbally discuss important medication information and follow up information with your client. Never assume that he'll read it at home. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you would like immediate updates, you can click here to be notified via email when the next video is posted. If you have an exam going over this medication and want to review some more questions, you can go to my website by clicking here and you will find a bunch of questions related to this medication alone. As always, please make sure you post a comment with your video requests as they come to your mind. All of our video suggestions are inspired by you. So I'm always reading your comments to see what the next topics are going to be. All right, guys, see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.